Serenity now! Serenity now! For millions of Seinfeld fans, Jerry Stiller was Frank Walking Costanza. Dad, I heard you were in the city the other day. Your mother has to tell you every move I make. <laughs> The easily irritable, highly combustible father of series regular George Costanza, played by Jason Alexander. What Jerry brought to that show, he doesn't even know how good he is. But Stiller's rise to fame began in the 1950s with a real-life husband and wife act. I'm Hershey Horowitz. <laughs> I'm Mary Elizabeth Doyle. <laughs> Stiller and his spouse, Ann Mira, met in a theatrical agent's office in 1953. From there, they teamed up, becoming partners on and off the stage. We're Doyles. We're Dempsey's on my mother's side. Dempsey. <laughs> Horowitz. Schmollowitz on my mother's side. <laughs> Their act highlighting the differences between the five foot four Jewish Stiller and the slightly taller Irish American Mira. The duo making nearly 40 appearances on The Ed Sullivan Show, along with countless other television and stage performances. They talked about their success with Kathy Lee and Hoda back in 2009. It's, uh, it's been a, a wonderful trip. The, I, let's say that the easiest thing is that uh, when we get on stage together and we have a little uh, activity. He'll never tell the and, truth. And we, he just glosses it over with a sick. Tina of sugar. <laughs> There's no such thing as it's not hard to live with Anne. You just have to put up with it. That's all. so lucky. But it was on Seinfeld where Stiller became a pop culture icon. You want a piece of me? I could drop you like a bag of dirt. You want a piece of me? You got it! From his hijinks with Kramer. Now you have a friend in the bra business, right? Of course, Sid Farkas. He's the best in the business. <laughs> to the creation of a Out new of holiday. A new holiday was born. A festivus for the rest of us. <laughs> Stiller won fans and critics over, even earned an Emmy nomination. We liked each other in a very, very big way. We just made each other laugh. It, it was special. After Seinfeld, Stiller went on to star in the hit sitcom King of Queens, playing a character similar to the role that made him famous. It's a Halloween thing for the kids. What are you? <laughs> there will be no Halloween in this house. Do you understand? It's forbidden. Forbidden! Stiller, of course, was also the father of actor and director Ben Stiller and actress Amy Stiller. It was Ben who announced his father's death overnight, saying he was a great dad and grandfather and the most dedicated husband to Anne for about 62 years. He will be greatly missed. Love you, Dad. Stiller was 92 years old. His wife, Ann Mira, passed away in 2015. As for that role in Seinfeld, it really did spark a major resurgence in his career, leading to many film and TV roles. He said not that long ago, quote, the only time you stop working is when they don't call you. Back to you guys. <laughs> Wow. Uh, I, was, I was listening to Julie Louis-Dreyfus mm -hmm. talk about that scene on the way in. You want a piece of me? You want a piece of me? She said they had to film it a couple dozen times because no one on the set could keep it together. There was not a scene he could not steal, Al Roker. <laughs> and it was funny watching that interview that Kath oh, and I was, did he, with them. Or it was like watching those two together yeah. was like, it was, I don't know, they had that incredible chemistry. that I remember Kath and I were laughing through that whole thing. Sorry, Al, I didn't mean to cut you off. I mean, I... No, no, that's okay. I remember watching them on my, they were a favorite of my parents when we would watch on Ed Sullivan. And uh, between that, Mike Douglas, the Carson show, they were fantastic. And of course, he was, he was really a much quieter, more thoughtful man. But what a terrific mm -hmm. talent. He is going to really be missed.